Bangkok the RT is a transit line that serves the southern part of Bangkok. Opened in 2011, the 16km transit line serving the area in southern Bangkok from Saton in eastern side to Ratchaprae across the Chao Phraya River. Bangkok BRT acts as a feeder to two BTS stations of Chong Nong Si and Talap Plu, both on the dark green line. BTS the Bangkok Skytrain, not the Bata one. Poised as a primary method to solve the traffic in Bangkok in early 2000s, only one line is ever built and operated. Five other lines, uh, other plane lines were cancelled. The number of passengers hardly reached the projected 25,000 daily passengers as planned. What is going on? There should be some ways to uh, improve the BRT services. Let's take a ride on a dedicated bus line and understand the issues with Bangkok BRT with some suggestions to fix them. Bangkok with more than 7 million uh, people living within its uh, provincial border and millions more living in the, the neighboring provinces has serious congestion problems. Rail transit has been constructed with the both Sukhumvit Line and Silom Line opened in 1999 in addition to MRT Blue Line opened in 2004. Outside the city centre, the rail transit is less suitable due to lower density and expensive uh, rail transit uh, construction costs tunneling and bridging. Therefore, BRT was suggested as the option to build the transit line which has lower capacity but cheaper than the rail transit to construct. BRT is short for Bus Rapid Transit, a transit system that runs by bus instead of train. A bus line with its own stations, platform and ticket gates is a transit line on rubber wheels. According to Dr. Alexandros Nikitas and Professor Marian Carlson, a BRT system is composed of the following ingredients. Vehicle use, obviously bus, the longer, the bigger, the better. Specific route, lane and stop, which makes bus behave like, like in a rail transit. Dedicated lane and priority in traffic known as right of way. Off-board fare collection, usually in the form of station or halt and frequency at least 10 minutes. The first operating bus-only lane network in the world is Runcorn's Busway in England opened in 1971. The BRT system that we know today was introduced in Curitiba, Brazil in 1974 when, uh, which later introduced dedicated platform and off-board payment which means that the, the tubular uh, station stops. The bus system in Curitiba is so substantial that it becomes the model of the later BRT system such as in Bogota uh, and also in Jakarta. Due to ever-expanding Bangkok due to population growth and migration from rural areas, existing rail transit system is inadequate to reduce the car dependency. With the combination of the lower construction costs uh, and lower capacity which suited the build-up areas in the fringes of the city centre, BRT has been chosen instead of a SkyTrain or MRT. The construction of the first and the only BRT line in Bangkok started in 2008 and completed in 2011 with a cost of 2 billion baht. Meanwhile, the uh, Bangkok Metropolitan Administration or BMA plan to expand the BRT concept to other 14 uh, other routes in Bangkok covering the distance of about 250 kilometers with lower cost of operation than rail, bus only lane that makes a bus faster and integration with the BETS station, Bangkok BRT should reach the 25,000 uh, daily users target, right? Right? The concept of BRT is relatively new in Asia as a survey on transport planners only knew the BRT in the last 15 years. The unfamiliarity is due to the lack of uh, roads wide enough uh, to fit bus only lanes in the city that grew um, uh, often grew naturally. By comparison, the cities in Latin America, China and Indonesia grew by using grid patterns, the boxy ones, with wide roads making BRT construction relatively feasible. Bangkok BRT line was officially opened to public on February 2011 which happened to be the first week of school calendar. Traffic congestion worsened as one of the lanes has been converted into bus-only lane and other vehicles crammed into the remaining lines. Two lanes. 
Between 2011 and 2017, the fare was 5 baht, which is cheap by Thai standard. However, cheap fare doesn't convince people to switch from the cars and motorcycles to bus. As the speed of the bus is not much different than other vehicles in the traffic. In some parts of the BRT line such as in the intersection, but BRT bus need to wait like the others. BRT buses stuck at non-automatic traffic light junctions and stuck in traffic, specifically at intersection of Naratiwat Raja Nagarindra Road and King Ramadhi Tree Road and also intersection the elevated intersection be before Raja Pruet Station. In 2017, there was a proposal to close down the BRT line because of the loss and also because of the under usage and referred the transit line into the city bus services which is uh, notoriously slow and quite a number of city buses are non-air conditioned. Unsurprisingly, the proposal was uh, withdrawn after a public backlash and the operation of BRT continues until today. Just the fare increase to uh, 15 baht which is comparable to the city bus fare. Fair increase happened uh, to reduce the losses that BRT face each year, which spacious stations, uh, off-board fare and dedicated lane BRT did not attract as much people as expected. The current ridership of Bangkok BRT is hovering around 16,000 below the projected riders of 25,000 daily. What are the issues that caused Bangkok BRT to perform below its projected ridership? There are several reasons why the daily passenger number of Bangkok BRT is lower than expected. The first one is planning. The public construction boom after mass of World War II redeveloped the infrastructure in Thailand after being damaged due to war. The foreign aid was concentrated on road construction as to improve the movement of the troops in addition to improve the civilian travel time, boosting the economy. Government agencies focus on road building until recently as more and more people uh, afford to buy uh, cars and motorcycles. The similar reasons are why other modes of transportation such as railways uh, receive less attention than the roads in the second half of the 20th century Thailand. I talked about funding of the road and decline of the rail service in Thailand on the previous video. Uh, the link is somewhere, you can watch it later. Other than car-centric development, public road ownership added the complexity to construct just a single BRT line. There are various agencies that build and maintain the road which cause confusion of who actually own and responsible for a particular road. Road ownership might be under one of these agencies, for example, Department of Highways, Department of Rural Roads, uh, Bangkok Metropolitan Authority, BMA, other government departments or even private owners. Conflicting jurisdictions means converting two lanes on the road into bus only lanes is a bureaucratic nightmare. The different owners of public roads are one of the key factors of why only one BRT land, land line ever constructed. Uh, the other plan line was simply scrapped and cancelled. The second is frequency and speed. BRT is supposed to improve the bus frequency and bus speed as the bus uses its own lane. With such an exclusivity, bus should be faster than any other vehicles on the same road. If BRT bus need to stop or stuck in the traffic, there will be no improvement of travel time as the average bus speed is similar to the city bus. As a result, the bus spent a lot of time at the traffic light like this one. The BRT bus waited for 3 minutes. Uh. Bangkok BRT operated between Saton and Thonburi. The route which is located far from historic Bangkok and business district make Bangkok BRT less known by visiting outsiders and foreign tourists. As a result, uh, visitors and tourists which are obviously not driving will be less likely to ride Bangkok BRT. To convince the car drivers to switch from cars to buses, uh, the transit system must be comfortable and frequent enough. Some of you might say, well actually, people work in the office don't really want to wait for the bus in the hot weather. Hmm, I wonder it was possible. I also wondering, is there any place in the world or preferably Southeast Asia where a bus arrives every 5 minutes or less that people do not need to wait for long in the hot weather? Bus come so often that sometimes people don't need to check the timetable. Number 4 Interconnectivity Issues Interconnectivity is an issue not only for BRT uh, but also other transit lines such as uh, PTS SkyTrain, MRT, City Bus and also River Ferry. 
the issue will be discussed further in another video je. Yeah, because too long. Just stay tuned for another video. BRT is operated by BTS, the operator of SkyTrain which only accept BTS issued rabbit card. The system do not accept Bangkok MRT Plus card and SRT commuter red line card. And don't even ask about the Visa or Mastercard, by the way. As a relief, cash is acceptable at the ticket machine. In addition to the mass transit system, Bangkok public transport also include the Moto Taxi and also Songtel. A kind of a makeshift a minivan using modified lorries or pickup trucks with two benches at the back, hence its name in Thai, uh, two rows. BRT together with the SkyTrain, MRT and the upcoming monorail compete with the city bus, uh, Songtel and also Moto Taxi or Mosai, which is more flexible and affordable. Are uh, issues plaguing the Bangkok BRT is just unique in Bangkok or the issues appeared elsewhere. BRT has been constructed in the six continents uh, with different level of service and grade separation with varying level of success. Grade separation means the bus is not mixed with other traffic and no obstacles throughout the line such as traffic light. By reducing commute time and cost, BRT done right could develop a new transit oriented development areas and increase the number of public transport users. The success of the first transit system in any country, for example BRT, MRT, LRT, monorail or tramway in a country will attract other cities to one their own. The underwhelming performance of Bangkok BRT caused other planned BRT lines that connect Bangkok with the neighboring provinces uh, to be scrapped. The issue of cost, speed and efficiency of Bangkok BRT raises a question. How BRT can be so successful in Jakarta, in Bogota and in Guangzhou but not in Bangkok? What makes BRT so good and what makes BRT so bad? BRT Sunway Line in Sunway City, Subang Jaya, a suburb of Kuala Lumpur, is uh, criticized for its underwhelming performance. 10 minutes intervals, lack of connectivity, and egregious of all, high ticket price. 6 km ride for 4 ringgit and 80 cents. As a comparison, LRT Kelana Jaya Line from KL Central, the major train station, to tourist attraction of KLCC, 5 km away, partially underground, is only 2 ringgit and 40 cents. Monorail is another example. The low ridership caused the interest to build the monorail in Penang and Johor Bahru when. Meanwhile, the success of BRT line will convince other cities to build their own. Transjakarta opened in 2004 with 1 million daily passengers in 2020. It's a major success in a city that uh, with uh, more than 10 million uh, people of population and a tight budget. BRT is a primary transit system before Jakarta MRT was opened in 2019. The success of Transjakarta convinced the other Indonesian cities to have their own trans BRT service, such as Transmetro Bandung, Trans Jogja in Yogyakarta, Trans Metro Dewata and Trans Sarbagita in Bali, even in faraway Papua that is Trans Jayapura. However, BRT outside uh, Jakarta is often non fully BRT, it's a kind of BRT light uh, as the trans bus uh, outside Jakarta often share the road with other vehicles. BRT is a good transit solution for medium-sized city with a large population and small budget. Other major Thai cities such as in Chiang Mai, Hadiai and Nahon Rajat Sima is not big and rich enough to have a, a, an MRT system or a SkyTrain. When BRT faltered, there is no way that a medium-sized city will be convinced to have their own BRT system. Thus, the cities outside Bangkok metropolis continue the reliance on infrequent bus and irregular songtel. To convince people that BRT is a reliable transit solution, what are the probable ways to improve the Bangkok BRT? With slow speed, low frequency and fair integration issues, there are several ways to mitigate the problems. Number 1. Automated traffic light BRT bus need to wait at the traffic light for quite a while. It is obviously not automated. To improve the speed and frequency, the traffic light could prioritize BRT bus. Could, should, could, should. The light might turn green when BRT bus approaching the intersection. And it is not really a distant dream or sci-fi technology. The technology is already applied in Singapore and the Netherlands. Number two, better fare integration. Better integration means faster and seamless travel. In regional Southeast Asian cities, universal card 
travel card is common to give the commuters a seamless travel or at least no need to queue a few times for a different lines on a single trip. Examples such as Touch and Go in Malaysia, EasyLink and Nets in Singapore and e-money issues by commercial banks in Indonesia. There was a suggestion to introduce a single transport card for the whole Bangkok pack in 2018. But as different authorities and companies keep issuing their own card, the prospect of a unified transport card is slim. Number 3. Introduce a bus lane and expand it. Main roads in Bangkok has three or four lanes one way, which is ample to create a bus lane. The introduction of bus lane throughout Bangkok will be not easy by the way. As the case where Bangkok BRT first opened in 2011, cars and city bus drivers were dismayed as the reduced lane worsened the traffic congestion. Meanwhile, in Singapore, bus lane is everywhere. In some intersections, bus get the priority against the other traffic and car drivers need to yield when a bus entering the road. Bus lane makes a bus trip fast and reliable with properly built bus shelter and express services. Uh, while one of the few non-BRT things about the bus in Singapore is the fare is still collected on board. Enter the bus and tap the card. Singapore bus system is practically a BRT without calling itself a BRT. With a few adjustments, Bangkok BRT trip in the future could be more pleasant than what I experienced in the present. Uh, of course, there will be some financial and bureaucratic uh, hurdles that could jeopardize the improvement efforts. As a conclusion, BRT has a potential. Right improvement will make the travel experience much better. Furthermore, Bangkok BRT unlocked the places that might never been reached by tourists such as uh, Lotus Rama Three that I visited. Would you like to ride the Bangkok BRT? Comment. Oh no, I forgot to talk about the political factors. If you want to ride Bangkok BRT, you can ride from 11 stations throughout the BRT line. If you transfer to the line via BTS, take Dark Green Lane to Saton or Talat Pu. There are few tourist attractions throughout the line such as Wat Dan, Wat Proe, and King Rama the Nine Park. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about Bangkok BRT and the issues related to bus rapid transit and probable way to improve the service. Thank you so much again for watching and see you in the next video.